few days after the truckers went to Ottawa, I defended the truckers. And I said they're by and large middle class people, solid Canadians, and they have an issue, not just with vaccines, but with Trudeau and with high prices of gas and a lot of complaints about Canada. The media took me on and said, oh, you've turned into a right winger. Well, let's just talk about the media with Peter Van Loan, who was a conservative cabinet minister with Stephen Harper's government, he's a smart lawyer, he's a farmer, he's got all kinds of credentials, he's with me right now. When you were a minister in all your years in politics as an MP, do you think there is a, quote, big right or left-wing liberal media? There is no doubt we have in Canada a very strong set of elite consensus opinion with academics, the media in particular, and sort of the political elite, what some people call that Laurentian, the Laurentian consensus. The Laurentian, that Montreal, the, Toronto thing. The big thinkers things. And I think that's a very real problem. Uh, because I think in a, a free society, things work best when there is diversity of thought and diversity of opinion. And you can actually talk about issues and debate issues. We've moved into this world with the media driving it hard, along with yeah. you know, the current government and some of these, that there is a very narrow range of acceptable opinion, a very narrow range of acceptable debate. And it's really happening at a very elite level. And more and more, large elements of the Canadian public feel left out of that. But it's also in the reporting, because in the reporting of the truckers, a lot of media would go and say, there is a Nazi flag. And I know there was maybe one, maybe two there out of tens of thousands of people. So if you're just seeing the news, you think that they're all a bunch of hoodlums. Well, the thing is, they actually, the media very, worked very hard along with the liberals and others to pre-position yeah, what was happening. The that's Toronto, not right. The Toronto uh, debate, the Toronto protests were interesting because, you know, you had uh, reports that people weren't supposed to wear their hospital garments that worked in the hospitals because what's the implication? They're going to be violently attacked. No evidence for that, but that's what they were suggesting. So everybody starts thinking, oh, these are terrible, horrible people that are coming to express their views. And, you know, I know my mother-in-law was sitting there watching with bated breath uh, the news all day long, waiting for the horrible, violent incidents to break yeah. out. And, of course, Beating up nurses. None, of the, none, none of that ever happened. And that's the problem. When the media get into the game, of playing that kind of message spin, clearly favoring a side, rather than expressing the views of both sides, you start building this sense that folks feel that they're locked out of their society, that their views aren't legitimate. And I think there's a, a very important role for the media to play in letting a wide range of views be heard. And you know what? It's a legitimate perspective. If the Medical Officer of Health for Canada has acknowledged that, guess what? Getting a vaccine doesn't keep you from getting COVID, doesn't keep you from spreading it, then, uh, and 90% of people are vaccinated now. Does it really make any more sense to have these mandates? The mandate for truckers going across the border. All these mandates were really just driven to get more people to get the vaccine. They've yeah. acknowledged that it doesn't have that benefit of not spreading it. So there is a debate to be had there among reasonable people, but folks don't let you go there and you get canceled if you do. Thanks for coming on and being part of the debate. All Peter right. Van Loan. Thank you. As you can tell from what you just heard and saw, there are a lot of issues that have to be decided in Canada, and we need independent analysis of them. So, help us stay on the air. Subscribe, tell your friends, PayPal. And thanks for watching.